Gwyneth Paltrow, she's opening up about how she and her ex, Chris Martin from Coldplay, have gone from conscience uncoupling to co-parenting. The interview's in the latest issue of Glamour magazine, and Lindsay Janice has the details. Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin making a very conscious decision to put family first. The actress and entrepreneur now sharing how they successfully co-parent after their conscious uncoupling. For Chris and Gwyneth, conscious uncoupling was really about being conscientious of their circumstances, of the kids, of what they were going through, and they've really practiced what they've preached with that term. Paltrow recently opening up to Glamour magazine, saying, if you can't stay married, wouldn't the ideal be that you could still be a family? They spend holidays together, weekends, occasionally they'll sleep over at each other's houses. The Academy Award winner and the Coldplay frontman remaining a strong family unit with their kids, Apple 11 and Moses 9. Paltrow telling Glamour, we're not living together, but he's more than welcome to be with us whenever he wants, and vice versa. I sleep in his house in Malibu a lot with the kids. We're still very much a family, even though we don't have a romantic relationship. He's like my brother. The biggest concern mom Paltrow has these days about her children? Following in their parents' footsteps. They're natural, so I feel like my mother, whenever I said I wanted to be an actress, she said, oh no, don't. Paltrow creating her own definition of family. She said that we really didn't have a personal example of what it was like to stay friends. So she's kind of just creating this path as she goes along. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York. He's like my brother. That's... It works for them? Yeah. No judgment? Yeah. That's yep. great. As long as the kids are good. They so Ellie away. and I are doing great, but if, if we split up, she'd be a lot meaner than that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell you from experience, yes, it would be. <laughs> I'm lying. Oh, for whole game. We're four friends. I know. Would, yeah. would you ever want your, your no, ex to call you your, like a brother? No. But you guys are your friends. We're friends. Listen, yeah. yeah. You do whatever you have to do yeah. with your kids. And right. I think that's Absolutely. the lesson here. The, little, the brother thing is a little further than what I, where I far right. than I got. I think right. she meant but, affectionately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. But I, I've seen your children. They're so, you could tell they're doing well. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. And yeah. she's a great, great mother. Okay. Great mother. Uh, good, good Somehow story. we didn't mention <laughs> about Michael. You could? No. <laughs> Not that any of us know. <laughs> you, all, you, all, you guys are looking at me like, Michael, be quiet. You're getting yourself in trouble. <laughs> I'm sitting back, sipping my coffee. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, Ames. <laughs> you go, girl. Hey, listen. Hold hands. Kumbaya. Ha <laughs> ha